Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you a Bukayo Saka FIFA 23 player review. This is the World Cup Phenoms card. Um, going for about 200k at the minute, his price is kind of all over the place um, as it has literally just dropped. But look at this card, 5 foot 10, high medium work rate, left footed, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, uh, 88 overall, right wing up from England and Arsenal. Looks like a cracking player. He is one of my favourite players anyway. Let's get into the in-game stats and then some gameplay and see how he plays. So, 91 pace with 94 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. It's fantastic. Good shoot in there. 80, uh, 86 finishing, 92 attack positioning, 81 shot power. Really, really good. Passing is decent as well. It's just that long pass that's letting him down there a little bit. Dribbling is un fantastic. It's just the composure that's a bit low, but everything else is 87 and above. Defending, not really needed. He is an attacking player anyway. Strength could be a bit better. Probably worth putting a card on him to increase the strength there a little bit. But look at those stats. I mean, the standout there is the pace and dribbling. Decent shooting, decent passing. And uh, yeah, with a, with a card on there to increase the strength, he is going to be a right pain <laughs> to play against. So let's get into some gameplay now. All right, a couple of minutes in here. Uh, there's Saka on the ball, not managing to do anything there, unfortunately. He is definitely showing off his pace a little bit, though, in uh, in the games that I have played with him. Of course, we'll play some more and have played some with him just to sort of get a feel for how he is rather than just relying on this one game. But, yeah, so far I've not been able to get him into this game, but he's felt good um, in previous games. But let's focus on this one here. So, sure, on the ball, Fernandez, I will try and get the ball over to Saka as much as possible possible not a good start there uh killing mbappe getting the goal for him a bit annoying and he's uh, not going to skip the celebration either brilliant um but yeah i will try and get saka involved as much as possible um all of the attacks i will go through him um and hopefully we can get a goal or an assist with him um and, and really test out how he's going to play so here he is on the ball now Good run there. Can we find him? If that was a better ball, he was away there. He's, he's definitely rapid. You can tell just the burst of um, acceleration that he's got is uh, is fantastic. Um, what have we got going on here? We need to stop this attack before it starts getting dangerous. It got dangerous, um, but Mendy did, did well to deal with that. Sure, can we get Saka in? He's not making that run really, is he? Um, he's sort of running backwards a little bit, which was a bit strange there. That's why I tried to sort of do the, you know, the, the, oh, he's back in again there. Let's see, oh, nice turn, nice shot. Oh, unlucky there. Really good shot from uh, from Saka there. Um, after a really, really good turn as well, showing off the agility. Fantastic defending, sure. Um, after showing off his, uh, his agility and balance to get the turn, really good. I'm impressed with how he's playing there. Um, it just couldn't get that shot in. I think maybe a card to increase the shooting if you're not going to do the strength than one for the shooting because it is only 83. I say only, 83 is still a fantastic stat really. Um, but it's not that high, high level, especially now. There's so many players with better shooting. Um, so I would recommend that maybe putting a card on to increase the shooting. Um, could be a, a way forward. I wouldn't, you don't think you need to increase the pace. It's already got 91, which is obviously... A, a crazy stat so yeah I think uh, shooting and strength is definitely the way to go as far as the chemistry styles Gumierrez, what can we do here where is Saka he's got to be up the top there there he is on his own mm, bit difficult to get him in try it oh look at that pace just a burst of acceleration that he's got can we do anything yeah should have shot earlier um, his keeper was in a good position there to take it off of him I forget that he's got that four star weak foot um yeah, I was a bit hesitant to shoot because I saw that it would have probably been on his right foot, but with a four-star weak foot, it definitely uh, can be done. Let's try and get the ball up to him a little bit more now. Here we go, Bruno. But we're seeing his pace, we've seen his dribbling. Just need that finishing, um, and that's what I mean by the uh, the chemistry style. Maybe the needed thing here. Oh, nice dribbling as well there, and a good ball. Can he get his assist? Oh, Morientes has put that pretty much in the one position he didn't want to which was straight at the keeper really good um, sort of tippy tappy with his feet there Saka I don't know what you call that um, but he did well with the dribbling and oh, good save I thought that was uh, destined to go in the back of the net it's been a good game good save again I'm 1-0 down though need to change that um, got a corner out of it he has yeah, Saka's doing well, um, just needs that goal. He's doing well, though, um, as as that sort of forward player. Um, oh, no, Ziyech, nope, not going to do anything there. Um, and we collect, so hopefully we can get the ball up to him. He, he's not running particularly direct. 
he's kind of running backwards a little bit sometimes, which is a bit strange for me. Oh, done well there, Morion says to win the ball. Sort of done well for a second anyway. There we go, sure, fantastic again, and Saka is there, and he ooh, he was almost away. He does seem to like doing that back to goal turning thing. He's done that a couple of times. Didn't come off that time, but yeah, it did uh, it did work. Oh, here he is. Oh, another decent shot, but keeper equal to it. That probably was never really going in, was it? To be fair. Oh, let's try and get him. He's on the edge of the box there. Need to get him into the box. Here he is. Can we get it to him? Oh, he's. Yeah, there's a penalty. We'll take it with Saka. Um, that was a definite foul. Um, very <laughs> lucky it was in the box, I guess. But Saka won the penalty, so he is going to take it. 79 penalty. He's done him dirty a little bit there. Um, he's taken him well for Arsenal, and that is another good penalty. So we've got the goal, at least, with um, the World Cup phenom Saka. Well, well taken penalty. Um, yeah, nothing to to complain about there at all. Um, what more can you want, really? When you when you took, get someone to take a penalty and he puts it in the back of the net, nice, nicely. Let's see what what can we do? Oh, if he was only away there, that would have been another nice goal. Can we get it in, Saka? Oh, it's in the post, and we managed to get the ball in the back of the net anyway there through Harry Wilson. Saka at the post. I would have loved for that to have gone in for him. Uh, I just wasn't to be, unfortunately. But we are now leading 2-1 at least, uh, which is a good thing. And Saka's been involved with both of the goals. He won the penalty, he took the penalty and scored it, and then hit the post. Pretty much got the assist for that uh, that second goal there as well. Not too sure what was going on there. Both players ended up flatlining on the floor. Bernardo, can we get it? No, not managing to get it to him there, unfortunately. And well defended there, Koulibaly. And Morion says, let's try to see if we can get one more attack out of Saka. He's run backwards again. We'll leave the gameplay there. Um, let me give my final verdict after playing a few more games with him and, uh, and see if he's worth picking up for about 200k. All right, so we played a few more games with him. And uh, let's go step by step and then I'll give my final verdict on him. So 91 pace, 100% felt like 91 pace. You saw an example of it in that game there. Just a burst of acceleration and 94 acceleration really, really did feel like 94 acceleration. So yeah, we'll, we'll stick to 91 pace. It could probably be increased if I'm being honest to like 92, 93, but 91 feels about right. Shooting at 83. Uh, we'll increase it slightly because he did get a handful of goals for me. Um, he did get most of his shots on target. Just didn't have that clinical finishing um, that you would want from sort of like right wing striker kind of positions. Um, but yeah, I, I'd go for like an 85 because he did score quite a few goals for me. 83 does seem a bit harsh there. Passing at 83, probably leave that as it is. He did make a couple of really good like through balls to my other striker, which was really good. Um, but yeah, I can't really increase it any more than that. 88 dribbling, definitely for was better than 88 he was really really good especially back to goal he was just able to turn and, and get straight into sort of like an attacking goal scoring position so 88 dribbling can go up to a 90 um, and then the defending on there 68 I'm not going to increase or decrease that he is an attacking player so we don't need any changes there and then physical at 75 I think that he could probably get an increase his strength surprised me a little bit I didn't notice that he was getting pushed off the ball at all really um, so we'll bring that up to about an 80 so we've increased near enough every stat on there. We haven't decreased any. We've increased the shooting, um, the dribbling, and the physical. Left everything else the same. Is he worth 200k? Absolutely. He is 100% worth 20, uh, 200k. Definitely worth 20k. But 100% worth 200k. I would go out and get yourself a sack of Phenoms card. He is fun to play with. A 4-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot definitely helps. And then uh, obviously the, the great stats that he's got there. So hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and there will be a link in the description down below full of FIFA 23 player reviews. As always guys, thank you for watching.